Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, now for something completely different. What would happen if you took an LP120 and an LP60, put them in a blender together and hit the power button? Probably nothing good. However, if you were to take the best elements of an LP120 and an LP60 and put it together, you would end up with this. This is the relatively all new LP3 from Audio Technica. It was released this year at CES and it's really cool looking. It's got some of the best features of both of those turntables combined. You're not going to want to miss this. This is Recordology. To say that I'm excited about this would be a gross understatement. Uh, look at this thing. It just looks cool. It's got a neat space age design. And like I said, it looks like it's going to combine the best of both worlds. Here we got another picture of Audio Technica's founder Hideo Matsushita testing a phonograph cartridge back in 1965. And for those of you that are new to this, Audio Technica is famous for their phono cartridges, but now they sell record players as well. So you get those famously good Audio Technica phono cartridges and that same attention to detail and quality in the entire record player itself. So this will require external speakers. For those of you uh, that are curious, we're going to need to plug it into either a stereo system or powered speakers. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm really anxious to, uh, to see what this is all about. It looks fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this here. Just beautiful. How? And that was a severe paper cut. Okay. Look at that guy. Just the way it's packed tells you a lot of what you need to know in terms of quality. So we've got this packet we'll look at in a minute. Don't get too excited, it's not a record. That's actually a turntable platter mat. So we'll set that aside. And then here is the turntable itself in foam blocking material. Now, as I revealed on a recent uh, product review that we did recently, uh, these are designed, record players are shipped in these packages, they're designed with this gap. So if there is a puncture, if Amazon or somebody is handling it in a rough way, these are designed to uh, keep the product away from the outside edge. So, I am going to remove this. Don't throw away these foam blocks because, as you can see, they have accessories inside. So, Here's a power cord. As you can see, there's two layers. So this is gonna be the dust cover. This is the actual turntable. So be careful when you pull this out that you support the turntable on the bottom there. And just be, just be careful. And don't forget these accessories that are sometimes packed into the side. In this case, you've got this um, 45 adapter. And we're just gonna lift this off and set it aside so it doesn't get damaged. power cord is back here. This is really well packaged and like I always say guys, that's not just a good sign, that's probably the best sign that they care about the product. Here's the head shell, head shell and uh, cartridge which is pre-mounted, that looks awesome. And I think that's all that's in here. And here is the turntable itself, oops. Okay, so there's the platter on the bottom, so we'll set this aside. Everything's wrapped very well. Anti-static wrap everywhere. Awesome. This looks really cool. And it's so exciting, you guys, to see these record players, these Audio Technica products being offered for sale. I was at Best Buy today, and there's all these Audio Technica and Victrola products. It's just so cool to see this part of the mainstream again. Now, for those of you that have been here for some time, that's gonna look very familiar, what we're looking at right there. That's pretty much the same mechanism from the LP60X as well as the Crosley T400. So you've got your motor and motor pulley purposefully on the opposite side than the tone arm pickup. That is to minimize the vibrations. Yes, this is a belt-driven turntable. And then the auto stop and auto start mechanisms that are contained therein. This is an industry standard design. It's gonna work perfectly. I'm almost 100% positive. I've seen it used very well multiple times. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this together. We're gonna need, obviously, the platter that comes wrapped separately, like this. And what's really cool is you can see they pre-installed a belt on the sub platter. That's this inner 
piece right here. It's actually the same piece, but it's like this inner edge. And that way, what you can do is you could take this tape off here and grab the ribbon. Well, I'm actually gonna do it. So here we go, you place it right on, just like that. And I love the fact that Audio-Technica uses the metal platters. The Crosley T400 used a plastic one, but was otherwise very similar to an LP60, but there's so much to be said about the inertia and stability that you get from a metal platter. So I'm glad to see this here. Don't get me wrong, Crosley's doing some awesome stuff these days, but this metal platter for me is sort of a must. So we take the tape off, the ribbon is attached to the belt. Let's get a closer shot of that. Pull that ribbon back and use your finger just to pull that belt right behind the edge. And then you can gently remove the ribbon. It's as easy as that. So now the belt is on, the platter is on, and you can rotate it around and look in this window here to see the belt and uh, how it's laying on that sub platter. It's a good idea to make sure that the belt isn't twisted over and all that good stuff. And when it comes time to remove the belt and to remove the platter, all you have to do is pull back with your finger like this, lift it over the pulley, and you can rest it on the inside edge right there. And with the belt removed, you can use your fingers to pick up the platter just like that. Okay, let me finish assembling the dust cover and the platter itself, and we'll take a closer look. So a close up of the tone arm here, it is a straight tone arm. It's a metal tone arm. The most significant upgrade you get here with this unit is this uh, more professional tone arm. It's a straight metal tone arm that has a manual counterbalance. In fact, I'm gonna put that on right now. This counterbalance allows you to set the tracking weight uh, to whatever you want. And I will go ahead and set that up. Uh, that's a process that we have reviewed in the past, and it's definitely something that you're gonna wanna understand how that works. Interesting, there's no clip. That's really, really interesting. Oh, you know why? Because it's an automatic turntable, you can't have a clip. Otherwise, if you press start, it could ruin the motor. We're gonna attach our head shell assembly. It is an angled head shell assembly right there with a really nice Audio-Technica cartridge in there. Um, it does have head shell screws. You can adjust and you can adapt and you can upgrade the head shell and the cartridge if you would want to. Okay, we got our AT91R beautiful red Audio-Technica cartridge head shell assembly squared away. This thing looks like a Ferrari and I bet it's gonna perform like one. So this particular cartridge is designed to track at two grams, so we set it to two grams. Don't forget this knob back here. This is the anti-skate knob. To begin with, put it to the same value that the counterbalance is set with, in this case, two. Uh, we've done other videos on how to more accurately set the anti-skate, but that's gonna be a good starting point. Also back here, we've got the cueing lever for manual operation as well. So how does this thing work? Let me give you a quick overview, and we'll also take a look at the back panel. I forgot to mention, this thing comes with a beefy owner's manual and a really cool product catalog as well. So this is a fully automatic turntable, but you can use it as a manual turntable as well, which is really unique. But when you're using an automatic turntable, it needs some basic information. It needs to know the size of the record on there. So there's a switch up here that you can set it to seven inch discs, like 45s, or 12 inch discs, like the full size LPs. Then the other piece of information you're gonna to wanna to tell it is the speed of the record. So if you push this in, it says it's 45 RPMs, or if you release it, it's 33 RPMs. This is a two-speed turntable, so you can't play your 78s on here, but you can play 45s and 33s as well. The 45 adapter lives back in this little indentation back here. Okay, and on the back panel, it's got an internal power supply, so you just connect the AC cable right there. And then over here, this is really interesting. So it's got a built-in preamp, which we would you know, assume it would have, but what's really interesting is this switch right here, MM and MC. So there are two types of cartridges that this turntable can use. Moving magnetic, which is most prominent, but MC stands for moving coil. So if you have a moving coil cartridge, the coil is the part that moves and the magnets are stationary, whereas a moving magnetic cartridge works opposite. The magnets move and the coil is stationary. But most likely, 
you're gonna be using a moving magnetic cartridge and that's what it comes pre-equipped with. So here's how these automatic turntables work. You place your record on the record player like that. Then you need to pick the speed. So in this case it's 33, which we have it selected to right there. And it's 12 inch, which we have selected right there. The only other controls you need to worry about are start and stop. So we're just gonna hit start. Because we told it what size, it's gonna know where the outside edge of that record is. And it's gonna rotate over and drop the needle very gently right at the beginning groove. Simple as that. And when you're done, you just press stop and it's going to bring it back all by itself as well. This is a great option if you have shaky hands like I do and you don't want to worry about handling that stylus. Obviously this will make your stylus and cartridges last longer as well. So if you've got a 7 inch record, let's say a 45, put the 45 spacer right there in the middle, put the record in the middle, change the speed to 45, change the size to 7 inches and press start. And again, it knows right where the outside edge of that record is, and it'll move the tone arm over right to the beginning. So you may be saying, okay, this seems identical to the way the LP60 works. What's the benefit? Okay, there's a huge benefit in two major areas. The functionality is very similar. However, you have control over what cartridge is on there. Now, this cartridge it comes with is a very good cartridge, but let's say you wanted to upgrade to something that was even higher end. On the LP60 and the LP60X, you are stuck with the cartridge it comes pre-configured with, which is not a bad cartridge, but it's an entry-level cartridge. So this allows you to upgrade the head shell, the cartridge, the stylus, any way you want. And then because you have that control, it also has the counterbalance and anti-skate, which are more professional controls as well. Okay, and again, when you're done, press stop and it will return all by itself. Because you can control the speed and the size separately, you can also play other records that are kind of unique. Like this, that's a seven inch record, but it's 33 RPM. So we can leave this set to seven inches, but change the speed to 33, and it's gonna know how to play that record properly. You can even play something really interesting like the flexi disc. So we're gonna put the flexi disc on top. You gotta put a coin on to give it some weight. This is going to be 33 RPM and seven inches. All we have to do is press start and again, it's gonna play just perfectly. So as you can see, this record player allows you to play pretty much anything. The only limitation, it doesn't play those 10 inch 78s. But most people, don't use those types of records, so this may not be an issue for you. But enough talking, time to give this a listen. For today's test, I will be using a direct feed out of this unit right in to the computer. So you'll be able to hear exactly the quality that you can expect. Without further ado, let's press the start button and let it take it from here. Here, you guys, is the Audio-Technica LP3 automatic turntable. Enjoy. See the sunlight through the pine. Taste the warm of winter wine. You can also use the cueing lever, which is really cool at any point in the program to lift, rotate the stylus to wherever you want, and then lower it again. Super cool manual feature. Every night fiesta. I think I'm gonna like it here. Okay guys, it's as simple as that. What a beautiful, beautiful machine. We have a winner here, you guys. I really honestly have nothing negative to say about it. Just be careful because it's automatic. It doesn't have that clip that when you're transporting it, you don't accidentally allow the tone arm to fall off the rest. But besides that, it's fantastic. It sounds great, it looks great, and I think you're really gonna enjoy this. So two thumbs up and thank you guys for watching. Now, if you're as convinced as I am, click on the link in the description below to get one for yourself, I guarantee it. There may even be time to get one under the tree in time for Christmas. So, I hope you enjoyed that show, you guys. It was a lot of fun to put together for you. For those of you that are just tuning into this or haven't watched in a while, check out our Vlogmas series that we're doing every day, December 1st through December 25th. If you watch all of those shows, you're gonna pick up 
some clues that have been dropped behind. Those clues will add up to something very cool for you because on Christmas, we are giving away a brand new record player. It's a Crosley RSD3 and you can win it. All you have to do is answer the question or questions that we will be asking during that live show. Stay tuned for details about exactly when that show is going up, but I think that we're going to be going live probably 7 or 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, the night of the 25th. You're not going to want to miss it. But that's all for now, guys. Happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Recordology. Stay tuned for a new show every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter.